Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to do like, um, you know, I wanted to just check into the weekend energies. That's really what I want to do. Okay. And see what kind of, of energy you have going on for you this weekend. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Okay. Just, just take what does resonate Cancers and toss out the rest, right? Um, don't try to force any reading into your world. And thank you, Cancers, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. You know, I say it every day. And really, the Cancers, just thank you for all of the kindness, right? Thank you for um, being a part of the Soul Tribe with me and allowing me on this journey with you and just... I just love you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do. Okay. All right. So let's cut the deck and see what's going on around your weekend energies. Divine, what do you have for cancer for this weekend? Thank you. This one wants to come out. I feel like you're just done. You've got your back turned here. Lesson learned. Um, yearning, hoping, praying, and wishing in reverse. Okay, you're no longer, you're shutting the door on something here, Cancer. Okay, um, it could be coming in after you have a meeting with somebody, but it looks to me like somebody wants to come and talk to you. Okay, and you're not even hoping or praying for this anymore. You're just kind of done. You've got a soulmate coming in to tell you that they just can't seem to, they may be sharing this, um, I'm seeing SOS here. This person may be feeling like they need your help or your advice or something. Um, they want to come and talk to you or somebody wants to have a conversation with you. You may even hear about somebody who could be in jail. Somebody could end up in jail or put away or something. You could hear about that, but I kind of get the feeling like you've got somebody who wants to actually talk to you. Okay, and you're just done. You've got your back turned here. Lesson learned. It's a completion to a cycle. Yeah, this is somebody who's in love with you here. I feel like they want to come and talk to you, but they're going to, they may tell you that they're feeling very stuck in a situation here with a karmic. This karmic is feeling very threatened by this. I feel like if your person, if your person kept this a secret, it's not a secret anymore. I feel like this karmic knows about it and they're feeling super threatened. You may not be hearing anything, but I feel like it's a calm before the storm, to be honest with you. I feel like they may be threatened by kind of everything. The fact that your person can't stop thinking about you. The fact that they want to now come and talk to you. The fact that um, I feel like you're beautiful. They're, they're threatened by your looks, by everything. You know, this karmic could have their own little love affair going on too, but that's not really what I'm feeling like here. I'm feeling like this threatened karmic is embarrassed. Um, and this is just like the calm before the storm. Okay, you see what I'm saying? I feel like your person's going to come and talk to you about how trapped they feel because of this karmic, okay? Um, they may even tell you that they're kind of on the down low protecting you. Um, I feel like this is your soulmate here. Yeah, that's the Ace of Cups in this deck for me. And this person is very clear about it. This is somebody who I feel like they're coming in to talk to you. They're going to be honest, though. I feel like they're going to tell you that they're stuck in something here, feeling like they're trapped, but they're in love with you. You're their ace of cups, their soulmate. They want to try to compromise or something, get you to understand that it's you that they want, but they may be keeping you a secret. 
um, a, a secret about this or to this karmic because they they feel I feel like they're protecting you I'm feeling like something protective here alien and sold somebody could be facing a house move or they could just in they can just intuitively know they're picking up on signs synchronicities um, they could even be trying to this person, your masculine, could be trying to talk to you like telepathically or through dreams. Pay attention to your dreams right now. Uh, someone could be buying a home or selling a home. I feel like there's a karmic here watching, uh, watching this masculine is really what I'm feeling like. I feel like this threatened karmic is watching this masculine. And I feel like maybe they're having to sell a house or. And I feel like this karmic knows they know they're going to be cut off here. I feel like a house is being sold. There's something coming to an end here. This karmic knows that your person is reaching out to you. And they're feeling lost. Really, the karmic is uh, threatened and feeling lost. Like, where are they going to go? Where are they going to live? What's going to happen? And I feel like they're watching your person and what they're doing. And your person's like, ugh. They want to try to break free from this, I feel. All right. What else can you show me for cancer? Weekend energies for cancer. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like this person's coming. They, they want to come and commit to you. Divine Feminine. <laughs> Told ya. Yeah, I feel like they want to come and commit to you. And you could be very well be a Divine Feminine here. I feel like they need to get out of something first, though. Paperwork filed. Yeah, I feel like that either they just filed for a divorce or they're going to be filing for a divorce. That's some kind of legal thing here. Paperwork filed. Yeah, this person wants to come and commit to you, I feel. You could be a divine feminine. I mean, I've got you out here, so... That one wants to flip, but it didn't come out. What else can you show us, Divine? What messages do you have for Cancer? Weekend energies. Yeah, this, I honestly, I feel like this is the karmic's energy. I'm going to have to kind of do a separate reading and see what's going on in, in the mind of this karmic because now it's almost like I'm picking up more on how the karmic is feeling then I, I i feel like we know that your person wants you and we know that you're leaving the scene okay but i don't know i feel like we're picking up so much karmic on how the karmic is feeling and how they're reacting i kind of feel like it's a warning like we need to stay on top of this one you know what i mean we, need, we should probably stay on top of this. Yeah, because I feel like something may go down here in the future, days, weeks, or months projected. Because I feel like there's a, a, a divorce here that's imminent if it hasn't already started. And this karmic is getting more and more panicked by the minute. And I feel like they're already um, like a bit um, unbalanced. Okay. Yeah. My nose is itching again, guys. All right. What else can you show me for cancer? Yeah, I think I'm going to do a separate reading on this karmic, guys. And kind of dig in a little deeper. Because there's so many readings I've done. And their energy is starting to come through much more detailed than everybody else's. And... That's just a red flag for me. 
All right, what can you show me here for this situation, though? Yeah, I feel like I feel like this is the masculine. Every time I see a sports car, I think of the divine masculine, okay? So you could very well be on a twin flame soulmate connection. I feel like um, they're trying, number one, they're trying to avoid a messy situation with this karmic individual because they're raging and ready to explode. But at the same time, I feel like this masculine really wants to race towards you because they're under a lot of pressure and I feel like they just want to get to you. I feel like the pressure is in knowing that you're just done with this. You literally have turned your back here. It's like you're not wishing for this. You're 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 going to push it out of your mind, but you're you're masculine. They want to get back together. Okay, it's just that they're dealing with this karmic individual. It's going to take a while, and I feel like they want to meet up with you and tell you that. that this is them saying, I love you, but uh, I'm stuck in something right now, and it's very frustrating, but this is going to take a while. Okay, um, yeah, but is there any way we can come up with some kind of compromise because I know that you're my Ace of Cups. You're my blessing. I want you. You're my Divine Feminine. Let's get together. But this is going to take days, weeks, or months. That's what I think they're going to say to you, okay? I really do. And I feel like they're, they're worried that, um, that you're going to... How do I... They're worried that they're going to bring this karmic right to you, okay? when they come forward because this karmic is watching oh yeah they're watching <laughs> and they're especially watching your person's moves um, that's why they feel so like like they're on lockdown right they feel like they're on lockdown <sighs> yeah I'm telling you the the energy changes subtly every day Okay, what can you show me for this person, for cancer? How does this person feel? What are the energies for this weekend? I feel like this is a masculine who may want to get together with you, but yet at the same time, they may hold back. They're trying to handle the situation with the karmic very delicately so that the karmic doesn't release any backlash onto you, I guess, is what I want to say. And you have no idea that all of this is going on because you have your back turned already. You can't see what's going on here behind the scenes, but this, this masculine really wants to come back together. They want to reconcile. All right. And honestly, when I look at this card... For, for some odd reason, I always see this as a percentage. Like the all the zeros, I always see it as what is the percentage that um, I'm going to be able to reconcile, reconcile. You know, uh, is this a 100% kind of spiritual union? Is this, you know what I mean? It's like they're they're crunching the numbers. What what are my chances? You know what I mean? A million to one, <laughs> right? Like, what are my chances? I'm I'm hearing from um, Dumb and Dumber. That's it. Dumb and Dumber, where Lloyd or whatever um, says, "What are my chances that you and I could get together?" And the girl says about one in a million and he's like so that means i have a chance right um that may be how this is in your case because you do have your back turned cancer i feel like that's just what they're thinking right what are my chances what are my chances for reconciliation i just always look at this and see percentages yeah because there's the trust has been broken Trust has been broken here, and they don't know um, if they reach out, are you going to reject them? If they reach out to you, are you even going to talk to them? Are you going to reach out back? You know, they don't know. All right, how does this person feel? 
How does this person feel about cancer and the situation? Weekend energies, please. Yeah, lost trust. You guys lost trust. Or, well, you did. You don't trust this person anymore. Yeah, they're respectful of you. Um, I feel like they're very respectful of you. And like I said before, didn't I mention the whole um, trying to communicate telepathically kind of thing while they're at home? See, they, they haven't actually left this karmic yet because they're trying to keep the peace. They're trying to keep everything safe. I feel like in staying in this situation, they feel like they're protecting you. Their match. That's really what I'm feeling like. Um, and I feel like pretty soon, though, there's a tower moment coming. The divine knows what they're doing, and that's not the way to do it. They have to take a stand. They have to take a stand for the connection. I feel like they are trying to protect you. But this isn't the, this isn't, they need to be, they need to be strong and take a stand. They are very admiring of you, but I'm, I'm kind of getting the feeling like while they're at home in this space with the karmic, they're trying to energetically communicate with you because they're in love, because you're leaving the scene. I feel like they wanted to hear from you. They, they, they're hoping to hear from you, but you're leaving the scene. And as you go, it says encouraged, I know. But cover that up and the, and the picture takes on a whole new meaning. You've taken your training wheels off. You're flying on that bike now. You're moving forward at great speed, determined, not looking back. And your person is being left behind. And as they watch you leave... Knowing you're not slowing down, they're like, hey, wait, wait. That's what I see in this picture. And I feel like they may have wanted you to reach out to them. They may still want you to reach out to them, okay? But they're empty-handed here. It's You're not reaching out to them. You're on a bike moving forward, okay? And I feel like this weekend they're going to be very emotional about this. Very emotional. I'm seeing a lot of tears here. I'm seeing them energetically trying to, you know, at least get you to turn around and look, right? They don't want you to leave their life because they're in love with you. Because they're in love. That's the overall energy. Yeah. Yeah, this person's, yeah, and they're desperate because I feel like they're trying to hang on to something that's falling apart. I feel like they're praying because they really don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. I feel like, I feel like this all stems from fear, afraid of the karmic and afraid of reaching out to you, okay? They need to, they, I feel like they need to stop being afraid and start, you know, being the lion, you know what I mean? Or um, they need to stand up for themselves. They need to speak their truth and be strong, you know what I mean? And they're just very, very confused right now. I, f I feel like they're praying because they know that you're the one that they're in love with. And they're just, they're just sort of watching you go. I, I kind of, I feel like this person's going to reach out. They're going to reach out because they know you're not going to. Um, they're just, they're scared. They're sad. They don't want you to go. Yeah, they're sad. They know you don't trust them, and they know you have your back turned. But I feel like this person really wants to reach out. You know? Okay, give me one more for cancer.
I feel like they don't know what to do, man. <laughs> it's so right on the line. You know what I mean? It's like they want to come in, they want to come in, they want to come in, but I do feel like they're protecting you here from this karmic. Um, I'm, I'm really picking up on this one strong, okay? And I know it's not going to be for all of you. I know it's not, but I really am picking up on that. Um, okay, what else can you show me? What's this one? I wanted to come out. Guilty. Yeah, this person, is, they do feel very responsible for all of this mess because it, it is a mess, and they know what they put you through, okay? Um, they know that coming towards you is going to be like them tucking their tail between their legs, but I feel like they're gonna, this is something that they're going to figure out, and I feel like they're praying for an answer here because they really want this love with you. Um, but they know that they need to be free from something first. They need to break free from this karmic who feels threatened. They know that. They want to be free from this cage. They do. They just don't exactly know how to do it because I really feel like they're protecting you. I have to say they're protecting you, Cancer. If they come towards you, this karmic is watching them and it's going to bring the karmic right to your doorstep. And if they, if they say anything, um, this karmic's going to be upset and lash out at you. I mean, how, what do they do here? And if they don't come towards you, they lose you. You know, and if they come towards you and tell you that they're trying to protect you and they're still with this karmic, they could lose you. This person, seriously, these are all the scenarios going on in their head. These are just the few that I see on the freaking table. So, yeah, I'm telling you, um, it's, it's right on that line, Cancer. This person's praying for answers. What do I do? I, I feel like, um, honestly, I feel like the truth is going to set them free. That's all that I can say. I know. But that's what I would say, is the truth will set you free. They need to speak up, I feel, and take a stand and be strong, you know? All right, give me one more. <laughs> and then, guys, I will take this over to the extended, because I want to see exactly... Um, what's going to happen next with this person. I really do feel like they're trying to protect you here. I really do. So I want to see what's going to happen next and um, see how they're going to deal with this karmic. And then I think what I might do is um, look for like another read on like what the karmic is thinking, what's going on in their head, what, what, what's going on in their melon, what are they planning, that kind of thing. Well, we already know. Somebody's angry. This person's angry. The, the karmic is angry, and your person knows it. I feel like part of this tale being tucked is that they're scared. They know what this karmic is capable of. And they don't know how to get to you and protect you at the same time. Yeah. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I got. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to the channel, help me grow, and uh, become a new Mooney, right? And the link to follow, if you want to see the extended, it's at the bottom of my description box. It'll take you right to my Patreon. Anyway, uh, Cancers, until next time, my darlings, take care of you, and peace out.